Okay, yeah. so this is the review of the 32 inch Mobius gaming monitor from Ben Q. <laughs>
Okay then, so what are my final thoughts on this monitor? One, the overall sound system on this monitor is fantastic. The speakers are so clear, it's unbelievable. I have got a 7.1 surround sound system for my personal editing rig and I've been using the speakers that are built in on this monitor and to be honest, I prefer the monitor speakers because you've got cinema mode, you've got game mode, FPS mode, you've got so many different variations of what the interface gives you in terms of different modes you can select and what this is, it's got a bass as well as a surround sound feature on this monitor that makes you feel like you're in the cinema. Now, I truly love the speakers. The speakers sound fantastic. I said this in my last BenQ monitor review and I'm going to say it again. The speakers are the best feature of this monitor because they sound absolutely stunning. So clear and crisp, I've had zero issues with hearing things. Now, in terms of the monitor, it's 2560 by 1440, it's 165 hertz. It is a VA panel and it is it has got a thousand R curve. Now, in terms of the brightness, it is 400 nits. That, with, that is with HDR on and without HDR, SDR, it's 300 nits. Now, I have played with the overall uh, menu and I'm not a fan of the interface. I prefer the interface would have been a bit better, but that's just me personally. I'm not a fan of a lot of inter interfaces. That's exactly the same I do with AOC. Personally, the monitor, I've got my personal monitor, that has a better interface for me, but that's just me. The HDRI mode. Now, it isn't on because I personally don't like the HDRI fe feature. All it really does is it pumps the contrast and it makes the overall, whatever you're watching, a game or whatever, it just makes it more vibrant. Now, to me, who is colorblind, it's a little bit daunting and a little bit over, it's a bit too much for my eyes. I'm red and green colorblind, so when you're playing a game that has red inside the game, it pumps up the color so brightly, it started giving me a bit of a headache because it started straining my eyes. So I had to turn that off. But overall, if you guys want to know the overall uh, HDRI functions, then I will make sure to say that there is an HDR I function and the button is by here and you might actually see the difference right here now that is cinema HDRI and as you can see it's pumped up the overall brightness and the clap and the vibrance and then you've got this one now which is display then it's off now as you can see when it's off it's very dull but with game HDRI it does pump up the brightness but I find the colors are too bright for me but that is just me, I'm colorblind, so it does affect my eyesight. And I overall, I haven't actually found any problems with it. Now, I have played some games in HDRI, and to be honest, in some cases, I did prefer it without HDRI. But that's me. That's just me personally. So what are my overall thoughts? Now, the speakers are fantastic. I do love the overall curve. I do love curve monitors, and... My personal monitor is curved. I do like the overall port at the back. It's got a load of USBs. I don't like the fact that you need an actual power brick to use this monitor. But that's just one of them things. It's got a lot of features and it does need the power. And when it comes to the overall aesthetics, I do like the overall silver color. It does look really nice. The stand is probably the best thing as well. The stand is very, very strong. And yes, it does come indiv individually, which are, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I do show you how to put the stand together. And it is vase amount by 100 mil, 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter. So you, it's a standard vase amount. And overall, I think the monitor is actually good. I'm not a lover of the HDRI function, but that's just me personally. And overall, I think it's a good choice. If you guys want to buy it, make sure to leave a link down below. And big thank you to BenQ for sending out this monitor. I would actually like BenQ, maybe this time, a 4K monitor. And yeah, I've also got another monitor coming from AOC. So make sure that you guys subscribe for that. And this is Rich Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.